Hello dear students, welcome to Devika's Commerce and Management Academy. Today we will see combined mean. What is combined mean? Generally, uh, say two companies or two classes, two schools, two factories, two branches, mean is given. Two or three, mean is separately given. Uh, say factory A, factory B, factory C, three factories, mean is given. Mean is given, arithmetic mean is given. We have to find out the combined mean, mean of all these three companies. Okay, so that we are going to calculate when mean is given of different segments. How do we calculate the combined mean, mean of all the means? That is combined mean. Formula, if you remember, problem is very simple. Now, see the formula x bar 1 2 x bar means you know arithmetic mean if two means are given this is 1 2 if means are 3 given then 1 2 3 okay like this for the formula can be extended now uh, assuming that two means are given according to the formula x bar 1 2 is equal to n1 x bar 1 means for first mean number of observation number of frequency and x bar 1 arithmetic mean of 1 in the same way n2 for the second factory number of employees and mean of that second factory divided by total number of employees both the factories n1 plus n2 do not get confused just i am explaining this for, uh, formula uh, through the problem you will have more clarity shall we focus yes now the problem is given here like this from the three sections it become first year the number of students of each section where is the another sketch marker oh you yeah. uh, from the three sections of become first year number of students of each section how many sections are there three sections number of students of each section and the average marks obtained by them in a paper of statistics in annual exam are as, as follows. Data is given to us three sections. Three sections means section A, B, C. Three sections are there. Okay. Average marks in statistics. Average marks means X bar. X bar of A section. X bar of B section. X bar of C section. Means are given of each and every section and in each and every section how many students are there number of students in a section 50 b section 60 c section 50 okay means are given number of students are given what they are asking uh, and the average marks obtained in followed calculate the combined mean that i forgot to write calculate combined mean What we need to do is here, first we have to write the formula. Formula is here, uh, x bar, how many sections are there? Three sections are there. So, I will extend that formula, x bar 1, 2, 3 is equal to n1 plus n1 x bar 1, n1 x bar 1 plus, uh, next one n2 x bar 2, n2 x bar 2 plus third one also there that is why I am extending n3 x3 by n1 plus n2 plus n3 formula we have extended suppose say four sections are given then the formula would, formula would be x bar 1 2 3 4 x bar 1 2 3 4 same formula you will write up to here, then you could have extended it to uh, n4 x bar 4 also. Here it comes to n1 plus n2 plus n3 plus n4 also. It depends on the uh, sections or companies whatever it is given. Now here 3 given, so 3 we have taken n1, n2, n3. If 4 then you could have extended this one also. If you want you can write the formula related amount also like, like here n1 is equal to n1 is how much 50 
in the same way n2 60 n3 50 and in the same way x bar 1 is equal to 75 x bar 2 is equal to 60 this one ok 75 60 and 50 x bar 3 is 55 like you can write after this after writing the formula you can write even this one also very clear another step of calculation now you know everything just write it in the formula n1 is here how much 50 50 into x bar is 75 plus n2 is 50, uh, 60 and uh, x bar 1 is x bar 2 is here 60 carefully we have to write then n3 n3 is here 50 you can see here also 50 into x bar 3 is 55 divided by n1 plus n2 plus n3 n1 is 50 plus n2 is 60 and n3 is 50 just simply calculate it everything 50 into 75 50 into 75 and comes to 3750 plus 60 into 60 comes to 3600 yeah 3600 plus 50 into 55 2750 divided by 50 50 100 100 plus uh, 60 160 so now if you total everything it comes to 10100 10100 divided by 160 comes to 63.125 63.125 is the combined mean am i clear okay so if you are following this i think no need to give you a screenshot also the problem is very simple you can see now let me rewind this problem once again only the thing is you have to remember the formula x bar 1 2 is equal to n 1 plus x bar 1 plus n 2 plus x bar 2 like how many are given you can extend it that that divided by n plus n n plus n 1 plus n 2 ok now the formula is problem is given here three sections average marks of three section students and in each section how many students are there we have written everything like this n 1 n 2 n 3 x bar 1, x bar 2, x bar 3. Applied in the formula calculated you got combined mean of 63.125 that is it. If you are clear here is the homework problem for you. So find combined mean. What is given to us form number 1, 2, 3, 4 means formula you are going to extend it. 4 is given earlier it was 3 only now 4. 4 means you are going to extend the formula like this plus n4 x bar 4 here plus n4 you will extend the formula now four forms average pay x bar 1 x bar 2 x bar 3 x bar 4 number of workers n1 n2 n3 n4 this apply it in the formula and this is the problem your answer should be 587.88 Am I clear? If you are getting the correct answer, let me know in the comment box. I will be very happy to see that you are doing homework also. Not only this one, take out your test book and work out any problem you want. Practice. That is it. Simple problem. Do not leave it. So, in the coming class, I will take up another interesting topic. Stay connected. Check out the playlist. Whatever subjects are useful, use it. Everything is free of cost. So, please do share this videos and study well. Good luck.